Hello and welcome to my channel, Knitting Books Etc. My name is Cristina and I come to you from Lisbon, Portugal in a rather hot day. Last time I checked it was 31 degrees Celsius. And uh, today I am here to record the first part of a video about books, but it's about Amigurumi books. So this is a video related to crafts rather than books, um, as in booktube. So um, some time ago I was gifted a book, which I will mention in today's tag, uh, with Amigurumi, um, several Amigurumi toys. They are insects and bugs and things like that. And I was hooked. Uh, and so I then watched several videos about books. Uh, sorry, videos about books about Amigurumi. So um, it was the Amigurumi book tag, which was a tag created by Crystal from the channel Chronically Crochet or chronically crocheting I don't don't remember but it's one of those one of several channels that meanwhile I subscribe to because I didn't know them before because I am a knitter mainly I don't like uh, crochet crocheted clothes for example uh, but I like uh, blankets and I do write, like toys. I had in the past made some toys, but uh, this time, I don't know, I really fell for them. So I watched those videos, I loved them all. Some I watched more than once. And I have to say that I acquired some books. So today I'm going to start, uh, uh, I'm going to do this tag, uh, but I have to divide it the video in two which gives you already a clue about the amount of books I might have uh, there's also another reason which I mentioned I'll mention in the end why uh, the, the I'm going to split this tag in two so let's start I'm going to start by showing you some knitting books related to toys uh, one of the oldest books I have is this one by Susan B. Anderson, ETVT Toys, and I made this giraffe. Uh, I also uh, made um, uh, s three small, an elephant, uh, a, I don't know what were the two other, but uh, uh, it was from a course I did in Craftsy with Susan B. Anderson, and she uh, taught us to do three uh, small toys like this elephant and I gave them all away also the giraffe I gave I gave I gave it away there's also a baby here oh I even open it in the page of the baby this baby I also made this baby but I also gave it away so I don't have with me any of the toys made but I did use this book and I intend to use it more Again, so by the time I bought this book, I also uh, got two other books. Uh, actually, I got several knitting books of toys, but then, as I said, because of moving and changing the circumstances of my life, I had to part with them. But I kept two, and these two, so they are all the books. I haven't done anything from them yet, but I haven't made any thing from them yet but I'm I intend to so this is world of knitted toys and it's a, a great book because you have books divided by um, in habitats in a way so you have of course you have some techniques as all these books uh, have and then you have um, basic person patterns but then you have in the jungle Australian outback down on the farm, the deep blue sea, forest friends, on safari, the snowy regions, etc. And then you have some more techniques, some pattern variation, etc. But uh, they are um, great, great uh, books. I was trying, so I'm, I'm just going to show you some of the 
opening pages. So in the jungle, and you have uh, uh, here a native and then some animals. Um, Australian outback again. <laughs> what does this person have? I'll have to check that. I don't know. But here you have some uh, animals. Then you have what? Down on the farm, for example, here a, a farm girl, I guess, and some animals. Oh, look at the cat. I did. I, I hadn't noticed him here. Then you have what else? Uh, you have the deep blue sea. I don't know if I'm skipping some or not, but the deep blue sea. Here you have some animals. Uh, oh, and the diver with a knife. So he must be one of those pearl orso catchers that uh, in, that search for pearls. Then you have forest friends, and you even have a, a guard. And what else? They are great, great animals. On safari, <laughs> look at them. Here, here, and also I guess he's a guide. What, it, what does he have there? I don't even know. I think it's a walkie-talkie. Yeah. And what else? So. The snowy regions. Look at the dogs. Love them. So it's a... Uh, and then you have some more animals in each in each chapter there are more animals than those that you see in the those introductory pages but they are they are great so this is world of knitted toys by cat dalmeni or dalmeni i don't know sorry there's some reflex and at the same time i got this book Debbie Bliss Toy Knits and lots of also knitted animals. I wanted her, uh, I think that she had a bear book, but I couldn't find it, it's already. But these are also absolutely traditional toys, cute, very cute. So you have lots and lots of um, animals. Also with some introduction, of course, with techniques and tricks. And then you have the, the pictures of the animals and they are very sweet, very, very sweet. So uh, look at those, look at the sailor. I'm so glad that I kept these books. And oh, here there are farm animals. Oh, they are so cute, look at them. Yes, so great. Pig and piglets, look. And then, look at this. Oh my gosh, they are the sheep. Then you have cow and bull, and there's a donkey. Oh, cow and bull in this page, and a donkey here. Again, a teddy bear with a smock dress, look. And uh, a bunny. It's a farmer rabbit, okay. More rabbits. I like them a lot. Oh, a gingham bear and a raghead doll. The bear and the doll. <laughs> oh, look at their hair. Uh, some more rabbit and some mice. So this one and look at the mice. They're so cute. And they have that vintage look. Look. I love them. 
Love, love, love them. Can you see? I love to browse these books. Okay, I, I, Dalmatian dog and Scotty dog. The Scotty dog, so cute. And the Dalmatian. <laughs> Hanging online. Then you have a reindeer, kangaroo. So there's a, a monkey and a camel. There's a plethora of animals, as you can see. And uh, more than 30 irresistible, irresistible and easy to knit patterns. So by Debbie Bliss. So these were the three remaining books from my classic, my old library. Uh, of books and then more recently I acquired two books which I find amazing they are both by Louis Crowder and one is uh, what's the name knitted animal friends and the other one is uh, knitted wild animal friends and I know that she has another one about dolls which I I really want but I am in the process of making George, this one here. And the, what I love about these books, they are well known now, is that each of the dolls has some clothes, which I think that we can interchange them. I mean, for example, this is George the dog and his outfit. Um, I think it will fit other toys if we, um, if we do them with the same type of yarn. So it would. The cat. Then you have the horse. They are amazingly cute. Um, Dorothy the mouse. Look. Their wardrobe is fantastic. Charlotte the fox, one of my favorites. Look at her coat. The details in the coat are amazing. So I, I cannot uh, show everything because, oh, but look at, look at the pig, look at the, the clothes. They are fantastic. So I would spend, I would be here hours and hours showing you all the toys. I, I think that if you go to Ravelry, you can look at the ram. Oh my God, look at, so uh, here you have some more, oh yes, here it's the knitted doll. I don't have that one, but I really want some to other. So this is an amazing book. And so, as I said, I'm making George. I have to finish him. I almost finished everything. I think I'm, I only have to finish knitting the legs and then I'll have to uh, join everything. Again, here you have the wild animals and you have uh, so look at here, oh, a sloth and a giraffe. Is this a giraffe? I think it is. It looks like one zebra, a panda, and a monkey, I guess. I don't, I never know um, the distinction between the several types of apes and things like that. But anyway, you have, look at the lion. Look at his hair, mane, but okay. The clothes are what attracts me most in the old days. So, um, yes, here she is Isabelle the giraffe, and here is she without clothes. So you can see here. Let me not show the pattern, I'm sorry, but. And then you have her with her outfit, which is so cute. Okay, so this, and here, can you see some of the clothes here? Look. And then it. And look, they have shoes, they have everything. It's amazing, an amazing look at these shoes here. Uh, the most amazing books, the, the, these two. They are great books I, and I love to just browse them and look at the bear. Amazing. So this two, I highly, highly recommend if you like to knit, as I, I am mainly a knitter, so I'm not a crocheter. Uh, I know, I learned to crochet when I was five, 
but I don't normally do it unless it's um, um, oh my god now I'm I'm blanking but uh, a blanket I think um, yeah a blanket and uh, but now very recently with the, this tag as I said I uh, fell into the whole of the amiru, amigurumi in crochet and so I'm going to start first of all I was given this book some time ago and uh, I even was given a homework I, with this book I had to make this butterfly here and well I love the book so much I, I, I showed it here already because it's a book with several bugs and shows their evolution from egg to butterfly or fly or whatever type of bug that it is. You have here several uh, the patterns, so here. And I did start with this one, this little one, which I don't know where I put it. Hmm. I know I brought it here, but... Sorry, I don't know where, where did I put it? Ah, here it is. Here. Okay, oops, he's upside down. So here, it's a feed use. It's a disgusting bug. And here, uh, the moth, it's, I don't remember which, um, what is interesting in these patterns is that we can see their evolution because this is the bug when it's still in the cocoon and then it grows uh, let me put the antenna and the hair uh, and the wings here so the wings the belly and the wings so here like this so inside I put some lavender so it's a kind of an anti moth moth okay it's very cute and all these are very cute they are the designer is Lydia Tresselt and she's known in Instagram and she has a, a shop an online shop and a physical shop in Berlin I think and she's but she's known for Lali Lala okay and here it is the book so this book opened the door because of this book I found uh, I think perhaps suggestion in Amazon I found uh, this one here and this is a technique book what they call it the Japan Amigurumi Association and it's the crochet doll and the complete guide to crochet doll and animals they don't have they have one or two um, toys just to illustrate the techniques but uh, this is a book about techniques so uh, the great majority of toys they, they don't have their pattern here because they are just to illustrate uh, the techniques when I get something in my head like in this case with this video the amigurumi I then want to know everything about it so this is one of the reasons I I, I got this book and it is a very interesting book that I, I like to browse I like to read uh, I am reading it I'm starting it from uh, I, I want to read it from start to finish but then I like also to browse then you have some cute uh, images of course of several toys and to illustrate some points in the techniques and it's full of photographs so they, I think that I saw yes over 1500 can you see color photos so explaining the techniques so I think this is for someone who likes to get deeper into a, a certain subject like in this case the subject of crocheted dolls uh, and animals this is a great book uh, oh 
Um, then I also, let me, before this, because these are more or less in chronological order, except for one of these books here. So first, after those um, knitting books, I got this book here, Edward's Menagerie, and this is an amazing book. It has over 40 patterns of uh, animals, and I'm going just to show here this here, and they are, uh, I think that they are uh, divided in three levels, so beginner, medium, or average, and advanced, I don't know. They all share the same type of body, like a, a, some bell, a, bell, a, a little bit fat belly, and then the legs and the, the, the arms and legs are also similar, but then their heads is what marks the difference, okay? So I um, got this book some years ago, so it, this is also part of my old stash of books. And then I tried to make uh, a toy, but I, I, it, I, it always felt um, not very good until more recently when I learned, the reason was I wasn't doing my decrees very well. And so it had some holes in it. So uh, the most recent, uh, recent um, attempt to make the easiest a doll or the he's is it animal was this one here and I did uh, I am satisfied with it although I'm still not good at sewing and again I didn't uh, the, it's not very well aligned I like to do this tail here it's not the dreaded pom-pom it's a, a ball uh, stuffed ball uh, what is very particular of these toys is that they are not uh, tightly uh, filled in with the stuffing so this the way you stuff these toys is different from what is normally recommended so some parts are not even stuffed like these ears some are only for example the this here we can see that the hands are stuffed but here they are not and so this allows them to stay uh, in a uh, they are seated like this and they don't fall they don't fall down, okay? Um, because they are there's th this belly also keeps them balanced like this, okay? So I love it. It's again not uh, very well done, but I love him or her because this is Emma. Then um, because of this book. I always wanted the other books from this author. This author is Kay Lord. She's, I think, the owner of Toft Yarns, which is a yarn producing company in the UK. And she also makes all these toys using her yarn, wool. And which is very interesting because it's also different from what normally people uh, do, which is the great majority of amigurumi I see are made with either cotton or acrylic yarns. Uh, I really dislike working with acrylic and um, but I like I prefer wool so that's perhaps one of the reasons I like these books very much but I'm also now learning to crochet with cotton and um, brush out my uh, my abilities or in this case for now it's still I can still consider a little bit of a disability not an ability anyway I then uh, found out that she had a new collection 50 animal patterns to learn to crochet and so we also learn some crocheting techniques and we have again an enormous amount of animals where the, again the body is the same type of body and then the head is what's making the difference i absolutely adore these books i do they are very fun even if only to look at all the animals you have 
So here you have 32, I think. Yes. And you have more, I guess. Yes. And here you have some more. Okay. So 18. So 50 animals. Amazing book. And then, okay. After these two books, I decided that I want them all. That's how I function normally. I'm never satisfied with having only book one and three or something. I, if, I have, if there's a series, I need from one to the end. And these books, I, I like them so much that I want them all. And this is another one of the series. And look at, the, look at these birds. Again, these creatures are absolutely brilliant. Here you have some of the heads. So I forgot to bring here because I also have uh, ever, for some time in uh, during uh, at the beginning of what? No, it was in uh, at Christmas. I was gifted calendars for the following year, and two of those calendars have knitted toys. Uh, I don't remember if they are all birds because that's why I, I now remember because I've seen, I kept them. I think that both are birds, but one they are small ones, and the other are um, bigger animals. Okay, amazing book. This one, and of course, then you have also the dog's book. Uh, uh, she has two books. Uh, this one is the most rich. Um, recent version and uh, it has what they say here updated with 15 extra patterns so I think that uh, the first one was like the uh, had um, 50 patterns and this one has 55 dogs again with the same structure of the same body as you can see like a kind of a bean I don't know or um, looks a bit a bit like I um, can't remember now peanut but larger at, at one side because that's the belly and then the the arms and legs but then the head is what's what makes the difference so <coughs> great book too there's one I don't have which is the I don't remember, but it's about birds and uh, about the song, the Christmas song, <coughs> uh, about the um, the partridge on a pear tree. tree. So I think it, she has uh, the twelve animals in this case. <coughs> um, there are also birds, which I I still want that one too. More recently, I found this one. I found, no, I bought this one, which is the doll, Edward's Crochet Doll Emporium. It's a, again, an amazing book. Uh, it's a little bit, this one has, um, of course, because these are people, not animals. They have a, a different uh, body shape. And let me see if you have here the naked uh, toy. Yes, you have, yes. You have a different body shape here. Look, it says it's a little bit similar, but uh, the difference is that the head, uh, where in the other one the head is turned perpendicular to the body, in this one it's not. It's you 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 make the head uh, uh, with the um, the body. You don't need to sew them afterwards. But the great thing about this book is that you have. Uh, it's divided like this. You have several heads and several costumes. And then you can choose, for example, uh, let me make here this head with, for example, this body. <laughs> okay? And here you have, and that's how you do it. And it's very entertaining, even if only flipping the pages, look at the same head with a different body, see? 
and uh, she also has lots of tips and advice oh she has also two types of body a basic standard doll and an advanced standard doll so there are one is basic one is advanced one has for example fingers hands with fingers and the other hasn't it's only um so here for example you have the hands with fingers can you see um so and uh, then you you also she she also tells us how to try to to make uh, ourselves for example try to the characteristics of uh, our face and try to catch catch them uh, she of course she has several um, um, information on skin tones for example which is very interesting also about uh, the different types of hair and the hair tones this picture is also very funny um, then you have underwear you have pants boxer shorts bandeau and briefs vests and pants they are amazing look at them here and then of course you have the wardrobe look at look at the colors of the of course this is to show off the the colors of her yarn but these are the shoes of course and then you have uh, lots of headwear lots of and lots of different headwear and then again as i said making friends and family for example she has a picture of hers here and then the doll she made of herself okay and then look at here the there's a endless type of possibilities that you can of toys that you can make with this book so she she has then here a gallery with some suggestions okay look at this too so you can have more realistic or more fantasy type of characters They are very, I liked, look at this one here, so cute. Look at her glasses, her, her dress, it's very, very cute. Here you have a mermaid and the merman, for example, again, as I said, fantasy characters, but also uh, more realistic ones. Okay, so again, I couldn't, I could be here the whole afternoon showing you lots and lots of possibilities. Very good book. Very similar to this one. She has one with monsters. So it's the Edwards Crochet Imaginarium. And the, uh, the idea is the same, but here you have three types of... Uh, Uh, sheets you have the head you have the arms and you have the feet the body is uh, the same body that one I said that I said that looks a bit like a peanut but with the, the belly but then you can choose whatever animal you want like uh, doing flipping like this of course there are here uh, what you have is that you have I think that it's three so for example these two it's the same type of wood so it's the same level of difficulty, but you can you have more than one level of difficulty. So I think the darker one is the more difficult one, and the lighter one is the easier. And there's a, a medium one, I think. And then you you have um, so several parts, and then you have the explanations for each part in this side of the book. So again, the possibilities are endless, and. Uh, you can see the cover where you have several types of monsters that you can create also not only the shapes but then 
she also gives advice on uh, changing colors and the texture of the of what we use so you can see with different types of yarn you can vary each monster even more so here you have several types look at uh, also using type again as i said uh, different different textures you can also uh, make different um, skins and so things like that look at them so these are oh no they aren't they are more <laughs> again uh i love top books and so I, as i said i decided to have them all and uh i have here four little books which are also um how to crochet uh, animals they are the difference is that these are mini patterns so you have how to crochet uh animals wild this is the so there are 25 wild animals these are 25 pets these are 25 ocean animals and 25 farm animals so um also some birds and so the idea here is that you use the same structure of the Edwards menagerie so where you have um, same type of body and uh, arms and legs and then you have uh, the, a different head that you where you can vary the animals. So I made from the pet books, I made this, which is Eleanor the, I don't remember the type of dog she is, but I actually, again, not very well sewn because I am useless with a needle and some strands, but uh, to, uh, in sewing, not in, I, I know, I know how to knit and that's all but I really liked the the expression of the his face I liked them when I was making this I didn't understand the shape of the head because I was imagining the head so I started here and I moved in this direction but I had this standing like this so I didn't First, I didn't understand that it would be going again perpendicular to the body. So, uh, so I was finding it very strange. But now I am actually glad of how the muzzle looks and the expression of this mini toy. The advantage is that because it's a mini animal, it's very quick. So you can try these techniques and make a quick project. And so this one is from the book Pets, and this one is from the book the, the book Farm. I really wanted to try uh, to make the sheep. Sorry, the light is not very good here. So my camera cut me off because I'm talking too much. I was saying that uh, I really like how the sheep turned out because of this type, this stitch. Uh, and so they are very quick to make very cute and so for now I finished with um, the Toft books so now come the books that either someone mentioned to me recently or I was I watched them uh, the videos and I bought them after watching those videos and um, the first book I'm going to mention is this one, Iconic Women. Everyone knows this by the author Carla Mitrani, which is Amurfu in Instagram. She made, uh, uh, she wrote this first book um, with uh, 15 patterns. She has other amazing patterns, uh, Iconic Men, for example, uh, in her Etsy shop. And there are lots of other women. There's a second book 
uh, which is called More Iconic Women. And she also has a, a book about the Zodiac and things like that. But this is, the, the, these are very, very cute. I made, I have already shown in this channel, I made Jane Austen. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Here she is. Uh, just in time for Jane Austen July, which is currently going on. And I like her very much. Again, some problems. It was one of my first amigurumis, but that's okay. Uh, then another book I uh, saw many uh, podcasters um, recommend was this one here. This is another type of book. Uh, small, small uh, things. It's also divided in uh, several types of uh, chapters, uh, beach bombs, which are sea creatures, once upon a time, uh, princesses, dragons, and things like that. Eat your heart out and bento box are about food and uh, uh, several items related to food. Sip sip hooray is, uh, actually it's, I thought it was beverages, but it's not beverages, it's um, uh, cups, uh, tea cups, coffee mugs, and so on. And uh, of course, it has the um, several uh, techniques, pages, etc. Just going to show you one because I notice that I'm talking too much. And so, for example, this jellyfish is one. But then you have, as you can see, teapots, uh, milk cartons, uh, a bottle of soy sauce, um, uh, several items, uh, a pie, I think, etc. So. I haven't um, made anything out of this book. It's pretty recent acquisition. It's a pretty recent acquisition. Another book, again, that I saw in several videos, it's this one. It, I, I have a Portuguese channel and I sh actually showed um, several uh, pages of this book because, and I, I made a kind of a review. It's a book full of characters from either several mythologies, uh, several countries, around the world, also uh, from books, like uh, there's a um, uh, Frank, no, is this the one? Oh, here, for example, Frankenstein monster, uh, then you have the Cyclops, a Medusa, and so on. So um, it's, <laughs> this zombie is so cute. <laughs> Sorry, all, all those, uh, these toys are very cute. The only thing that uh, this has, which for me it's a little bit problematic is that there, there are lots of cutouts of felt bits and that you have to glue. And I am, me, uh, uh, glue and I are not the best friends, let's say. Also cutting out uh, forms, it's again, scissors and I are not best friends either. So, but this is a very uh, amusing book. Then you have, uh, Kukai books. This was the first one I got and it's very very cute. Not going to open again because uh, there's so many cute uh, patterns here. Look at this one. The, I'm, I'm going to make this one perhaps now in July. Some people are celebrating the Christmas in July meaning preparing for Christmas now and I think this is a great great Christmas uh, um, toy. And uh, th they are ma many, very cute, and full of illustrations of how to uh, make them, uh, full of techniques as well. Uh, a very good book uh, overall, especially for those like me that um, don't... Um, we are, I'm a very beginner at this type of craft, so um, very cute book. And because I like this book so much, I ordered the second one. I think that the original ones are in French, uh, but um, I got these two already translated into English, and I know that the author has a third book out, but it's, for now it's only in French. I think it's starting to get um, appear in other languages, I think. So this one is also full of cute um, toys, and um, again, very good explanations very um, well done book. They are, I think they are both by, I don't know how you pronounce this, Tuva? T-U-V-A, uh, it's the publisher, okay? Tuva Publishing. Uh, 
and then you have uh, I don't know if they are all this one is uh, I guess sponsored by Schreppius the Dutch um, yarn company I don't know um, if both are so but I, I like these books a lot then I found two uh, um, uh, uh, and this book is, was also recommended and I got it this is a British book so in British terms which I actually must be one of the rare persons who prefers British terms but I I uh, love this one it's a classic classic toys five toys only with a humongous wardrobe which is interchangeable so uh, all uh, there are five couples so uh, female and a male bear female and male cat female and male rabbit female and male mouse and female and male fox so uh, and then all the wardrobe I made the bear I think he's lovely so uh, and I am now uh, starting the, this outfit but with other colors because my brother was and has always played rugby since I was born I I was surrounded by uh, rugby and uh, he uh, I'm not the best at sewing as you can see and then I made some mistakes here but that's okay uh, uh, so I'm going to make this bear but with the rugby outfit uh, to give to my brother but uh, he's very cute and uh, so the book has lots and lots of clothes and again all the characters can interchange their, their clothes because they are all of the same size and the clothes fits everyone but very cute and because I like this one so much I got this one which is also it reminds me of the toys I had when I was a child so yesterday actually I uh, turned 60 imagine so when I was young we had several uh, toys and they look much like these bears and uh, other animals look at this they are very very cute and again they have an extensive wardrobe oh, look at this one here amazing amazing look at him so um, uh, here there are several animals this in this case they are woodland animals and they are all they also have um, so look at <laughs> the pajama this is the uh, bear pajama and so amazing book I recommend these books the the toy was very easy to make I can say that um, first I, I I made the the head and then uh, we start uh, and then the arms and then leg leg then um, we join with the underpants and then the body and the the arms are are um, uh, crocheted into the body so they are not sewn which is great for me because I'm not very good at sewing and then uh, the head is sewn to the body so uh, great pattern I, I liked it I didn't have many problems the only problems I have is that I'm not very good at sewing yet I'm learning and I will eventually get better then I saw um, too hot here um, in the comments of several videos people uh, mentioned a book that they recommended and I was curious of course and I got it and it is a good book I haven't yet uh, done anything from it but you have 26 um, easy amigurumi patterns and they are uh, 26 because you have one per letter of the alphabet okay so you have you start with 
your what Alex the alligator so they have then even their names uh, start with the same letter so Alex the alligator then you have uh, a bear cat dog elephant fox giraffe hippo uh, what is this iguana um, jellyfish <laughs> sorry uh, what uh, kangaroo and lamb so and then here you go on with monkey nightingale owl penguin queen bee rabbit snail turtle unicorn viper whale x-ray fish yak and zebra okay so here they are and um, they seem easy very accessible but uh, i cannot say if they are or not because um i haven't tried them yet you have a, a, a big large image for each of the animals so it's a good book of cute animals and so i look forward to crocheting some of these um, toys so this is the crocheted cute Critters by Sarah Zimmerman, which I think has a YouTube channel as well, which I now cannot remember uh, the, the name, whose name I cannot remember, but I'll try and uh, check that out. And finally, there's a group of books that I saw. Uh, I started following several uh, Instagram accounts related to Amigurumi and so I discovered also the world of French books um, one of the books one of the first books I got was this one here Le Monde des Doudou by uh, Laurence um, Jordan and her um, uh, Instagram account is Archide and here it's the very very cute baby toys look at them they are also very easy I already made the structure of one of those toys without any face and so on it was with scraps and I was just trying to learn the technique and it's also a very uh, easy technique where you also uh, start uh, your toy from the legs then you join the arms and finally you continue to the head so there's not any need of sewing except for the ears I, I remember and perhaps the details of the face and but they are very very soft cute softies in a way so and you have several ones um, let me just for example show you here one it's a uh, what a lion uh, they are all baby baby toys in a way uh, and oh and there's a, a huge so half of the book are techniques and they are very well illustrated and so um, I can um, follow the instructions very well so I think that this is ideal for beginners in my opinion of course it's in french so if it's a problem for you maybe not and then i also found uh, actually there's um, a book here that i saw cassandra from craftly ever after mentioned that she had to have it because it was amazing and it is and it's the poupée poupée amigurumi de noel au crochet and this is an amazing book this is a collaboration of several of those designers that i follow in instagram where they uh, made a, a collective work in this case related to christmas and you have from reindeers from father christmas i think it's mother christmas i guess i don't know uh, elves what else uh, several is this oh this is from and then several um, characters and uh, again uh, these are all from several from different designers um, that I follow for example this one here it's from uh, here it says 
Amour Fou Crochet, that's Carla Mitrani that we saw in the book uh, Iconic Women. So this is no doubt an amazing book. And because I got this one, and let me see here, what's this one here now? This one is a, di a different one, but now the, the next four or five books are all by this uh, Les Editions de Saxe, which is, in my opinion, a great <laughs> publishing house because they have very cute books. So, after I got this one, I got also this one, which is more recent, and it's the same type of book, a uh, collaboration of several um, designers. Uh, now, in this case, it's related to summer holidays and um, the sea. So, you have, again, several... Uh, characters, either people or animals, or accessories, like all these tiny accessories in each, um, for example, here you have this one here, and you have the girl, the, the, the parasol, I don't know, I don't remember the name now, uh, the whale, all these ex ex accessories are, uh, the patterns are in this book, so it's again a very cute book, lots and lots of um, cute uh, scenes, uh, habitats, and uh, for example, you have Mila en vacances, and then you have her, Mila, and then several um, accessories related to her, like this here, all these are patterns of the book. So I highly recommend because they are, these two books are very very cute and because again I started following this this is also a good way of showing off the the style and the, the patterns of several designers that then you follow and you find other books by them like this one here which is the cutest thing ever so you have five I think there are five there are six family families, uh, six families d'animaux et leurs accessoires. So you have six families and their ac accessories. Like you have a bear family, as you can see here. You have a rabbit family and they have amigurumi themselves. So, and then you have um, goose family, monkey, uh, narwhal, family. I don't know why, but may, lots of <coughs> Amigurumi books uh, have narwhals. So you have, in French, they say la famille lapin, which are the uh, rabbits. Yeah. Again. Oh, this is not a toy. This is a baby. But in other, there's other places where you have toys also made in crochet. Uh, then you have La Famille Narwhal. Don't know why, but again. Then you have uh, La Famille Wa, which is goose. I think it's Wa, they say in French. I don't know. Here they are. Then you have the bear family here yeah. then you have the monkey or the family of here they are look at them with bananas and things like that so and I think that's all or do I have oh cats the cats no Ma mice they are the family suki yeah so, very nice book. Then you have this one from the same publishing house, again, um, Le Monde Enchanté de Valentin C. And again, he's an um, Instagrammer. And he, in this book, he has three um, environments or habitats. One is, um, Le Monde Marin, so Sea World, 
Le monde royal, so royals and I guess the prince and the princess and so on. And le monde western, so cowboys and things like that. Of course, there are also sections. Each section has a story and the author gives you a QR code to not uh, listen to him narrating uh, the story. Um, and so I'm just going to show you the front pages of each monde. So Le Monde Marin, you have a mermaid, um, fisherman, and several other characters from the, this uh, world. And then you have the world of ro uh, royal. Oh, and here you have um, tower. You have, uh, as I said, you have uh, a princess and you have a thief, but you also have a prince and a female um, thief, I guess, I think. Yes. Because they are the same character. This here you have the princess, but she is with thief outfit. Okay, um, here too, the prince and his outfit as a thief. All right, so then you have the cowboy world, which mm -mm, here they are. You have an Indian girl, I think, cowboy and a cactus and other things, a totem, um, tipi. book as well and then for me perhaps the cutest of them all is this one here by Sandra Muller which is Lulu Computin in Instagram and she has uh, she is also one of the collaborators of those books about uh, Christmas and the sea here you have a uh, several characters and this book is look at it's so good this is the one i mentioned before where you have she has a toy bear can you see also animals but uh, this book is divided in four levels of difficulty and each level of difficulty illustrates one season of the world and so you have um you start with the easiest which is uh panta so spring and you have these two the girls here and all the accessories that come with uh, with them they are the spring uh, characters then you have it which is summer and again you have several uh, two characters with several accessories then you have autumn and finally winter which are the more complex one, especially because of the outfits and the toys and so on so very very cute book uh, I'm started one of the, the the easiest one the first the first uh, doll I I already started uh, and it's very easy to follow finally I have one book that arrived today and this is in French because, uh, at least as far as I know, it exists only in French. So, for now. Uh, this was the first book that Jan Schenkel, which is known as Pika Pau uh, in Instagram, and her all her, the world of her toys is called the world of Pika Pau. Uh, uh, she has got three books which were translated in many languages including English which are the animal friends of Pika Pau 1, 2 and 3 and but this was the first book she uh, uh, published and I don't know why it doesn't exist in any language even it doesn't exist in the original Spanish uh, it's only uh, you can only find it in French and so I haven't, of course, started with this book yet because it arrived uh, today. I have the other three books and I have done um, 
several of the dolls there, but I will show them in the next part of this tag. Uh, the reason why I divided this in two, it's because this is already more than one hour long, I guess. First of all, that's the reason. Uh, so today I showed you uh, 32 books. I have five books in my shelf there, including the three Picapau books. Uh, but, but I have 24 on their way to me. And all these, so 24 plus five, so these 29 books are all by, uh, published by uh, the Meteor Publishing House, which is uh, the books published by amigurumi.com. So I decided to, to bec first of all, because those, the physical books are still on their way to me, uh, they will. They were shipped on the third of July. Um, I have the, um, those five plus twenty-four. So the, those twenty-nine books. I have them in digital format, but um, I will show them when the physical ones uh, arrive. Because again, I don't know if I mentioned this. I I, I love to have the books in both formats. If I have only uh, in digital format, as I some I have some. Uh, I don't remember I have them and so I, I don't look at them but I love to have them in physical form to look at the patterns, look at the book, smell the book, etc. and then use my iPad and the PDFs where I can draw lines, take notes and follow the pattern easily without um, damaging uh, the book because I like to preserve the books as far as I can. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's a long video. I, um, I have no idea how long it is in total because I, ha I was interrupted. But um, next time I will come with the second part of the tag with those Meteor books. And I hope you have a nice time. See you next time.